Zeus, you ready? Okay. Welcome to this inversion free flow. We'll be working on back bends and twists. For this practice, you will need a yoga strap or a towel or something that can extend your arm and a bolster, pillows, or yoga blocks. Whatever you've got, go ahead and get them and we'll get started from there. So we'll start in child's pose. Bring yourself towards the back portion of your mat and your knees can be narrow in front of you or if you'd rather you can open the knees up to the width of the mat. If your knees open then big toes touch underneath, sit bones reach for the heels and then fold forward from there. Now I'm going to use a block today but if you have pillows or bolsters you can place them underneath your chest for a little extra support. Just to make sure that the head stays higher than the heart. So during our entire practice today we will stay with the head higher than the heart. But while you're here in child's pose, feel free to give a little gentle rock of the hips from side to side. This will help to warm up the inner thighs, the glutes, the lower back. Nice gentle breath here. Allow yourself to start to check in. Take one more breath here in your child's pose. If you were moving, find your stillness. And from here, we'll move into tabletop onto hands and knees. So you can move any props out of your way. Bring the knees right underneath your hips. Hands come under the shoulders so they feel supportive to you. Fingers spread and the toes track directly behind the knees. We'll move through a few rounds of cow and cat here, being mindful not to drop the head when moving into cat. So inhaling to cow first, lifting the heart and the tail. Then exhale, start to engage the belly, pulling it up and in and curl the spine. So keep your neck nice and long. Inhaling, letting the shoulder blades pull together behind you, tailbone sticks up in the air. Exhale, curl into cat. Inhale, moving through cow. And exhale, move into cat. And on your next inhale, come to a nice neutral spine. Exhale where you need. We're going to move into plank pose. So I'm just going to crawl forward here a little bit. Let one leg extend back behind you, then the other. And we'll take a few breaths here in plank. Be very mindful that your hips are in line with the shoulders. Sometimes in plank, we like to lift the hips up. This actually puts extra stress on the shoulders. Instead, try to lengthen and find the tallest, longest spine you can. Take one more full inhale. As you exhale, gently lower down the knees and onto your belly. Bring your hands right underneath your shoulders. We're gonna take a little bit of a cobra series and this will help to open up the spine, warm it up a little bit and the muscles in the back. If you know that you have a tight lower back, feel free to open the legs a little bit wider so that you don't have any pinching or pain in the lower back as we move through. All right, so hands are settled underneath the shoulders. On your inhale, lift the head, neck, and shoulders for a nice baby cobra. As you exhale, lower down. Taking that again, inhale, lifting up. Exhale, lower. From here, bring the fingertips in front of you, Spider-Man hands. I like to call them Spider-Man hands, but you're really just on your fingertips. Wrists are lifted up, elbows are soft, and we'll take another cobra. Inhale, lifting up. Getting a little deeper into the back bend. Exhale, lowering down. Taking this again, inhale, lifting up. Exhale, lower. From here, we'll move the hands around so that it's on the diagonal of your mat. So you're coming around the circumference of the circle. Taking two more cobras with the hands in this position. Inhale, lifting up, roll those shoulders back. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, lower. From here, hands now in line with the shoulders, but on the outer edges of your mat, still with Spider-Man hands. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale, lower. And don't worry if your elbows aren't straight here. You'd have to have a super flexible back for that to happen. One more time. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, lowering down. Okay, we'll take one more 
Solid cobra, hands flat underneath your shoulders. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, lowering down. Keep those hands nice and sturdy under your shoulders. Bring the legs underneath your hips if they're not there already and tuck the toes. Take a nice full inhale. As you exhale, press up into tabletop. Walk the knees forward slightly. Tuck the toes, lift your hips. We're going to take that right foot and step it forward. Now, if it doesn't come in one swoop, it's okay. Use your hand and carry the foot forward. Gently lower down your back knee. We'll come into a nice low lunge. And if the hips are tight or this is difficult, use your blocks, use your props to help you. So bring the weight onto your left hand. Right hand will come onto your thigh. Lift up through the spine and then exhale. Gently twist to the right. Nice steady breath here. And it's okay too if you let the left hip drop down towards the mat. This will open up the hip flexor just a little bit more. Letting go of some of our alignment just to let the body open a bit. We're not pressing into it, just a nice gentle movement. Let's take a bit of a quad stretch from here. So we're going to bend the back knee, extend the right arm up, and reach back to find the foot. Now, if you can't quite reach, you have a strap. You can use the strap around your foot. Not real graceful this morning. Uh -huh. And you can use the strap to help pull the leg up. Otherwise, you could grab with your hand. Gently release the leg down. Let the strap go. Two hands down to the mat. Doesn't matter if they're inside or outside of the foot. Tuck the toe, lift the hip slightly and step back. We'll take a vinyasa from here. So what that means is we're going to lower down knees, chest, chin, or if you practice chaturanga, go for it. Release the feet, inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, press back through tabletop to your child's pose. Now you can bring the elbows down here. You can come prayer hands, palms up. From here, let's find our way back into tabletop. Back onto hands and knees. Tuck the toes. Find your plank. Lift the hips ever so slightly. Left foot will step forward, helping it through as you need. Gently find your low lunge. Block or props if you need. Right hand comes under the right shoulder. Inhale, lift your chest, and then exhale, gently twist to the left. Left hand can press onto the thigh. Nice gentle stretch here through the spine and the front of the right hip. <sighs> nice steady breaths into those hips. It's okay if you close your eyes. Sometimes closing your eyes allows you to feel a little bit more deeply, taking away one sense and heightens the others. Gently blink open the eyes if you've closed them and let's grab that foot in the back for our quad stretch. So bending up the back leg, reaching the left hand back, either find your toes or use the strap and gently pull the heel in towards your sit bone. If you're having a hard time reaching it and you don't have a strap or you don't want to use it, just be careful that your chest isn't collapsed forward. This makes it very difficult to reach the foot. Move your chest away. It's easier and a more direct line to find the foot. Good. Gently release. Hands down to the mat, move the props out of your way. Find your plank. Take a nice inhale here, moving through our modified vinyasa. Exhaling knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, or up dog. Exhale to your child's pose. Finding whatever position of child's pose works the best for you. Always being mindful to keep your head above the heart. One more breath here in your child's pose. From here, inhale, come all the way up to a seated position and we'll move through another round of back bending. So we'll come into camel pose. 
If your knees are sensitive and you're on a hard surface, feel free to cushion up for the knees. You can take your mat and try fold it. Or if you have towels or blankets or whatever, you can place them underneath your knees. And in camel, the knees fall directly underneath the hips as long as your lower back is good with it. If you need more width, like when we were doing um, Cobra, then open the knees up a little bit. You can use a block here too if you'd like, bringing them between the heels. And this provides a stepping stone to get down to the heels eventually. All right, so moving through our camel, bring the hands to your hip bones, heel of the hands on the hips, fingers press the flesh down, <clears throat> roll the shoulders back, inhale, lift the heart, exhale, start to hinge, keep the neck long, hips press forward. This is a nice stretch through the entire front of the, pot of the body. So depending on your quads, you may feel it the most here. You may feel it through the belly. You might even feel it just in the back. On your next inhale, chin to the chest. Exhale, release. You can let the arms go. You can let your shoulders roll around a little bit just to help release that out. I will go for round two. Hands to the hip bones. Roll the shoulders. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, take that juicy back. Uh, you can stay here if you're feeling like you want to go a little deeper. You can walk the hands down to the block or down to your heels if you're ready for it. Squeeze those shoulder blades together, lift the heart forward, pressing the hips forward as well. Inhale, chin to the chest, walk the hands back to the hips if they're not there already. Exhale, release, let the arms and the shoulders go. One more round. Bringing the hands back again. Repeat anything we've done already or go all the way to the heels. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, start to hinge. If you wanna stay here, stay here. Otherwise, you can walk the hands down. Keep your belly active, pulling it up and in. Glutes are active. Breath is active. On your inhale, chin to the chest, walk the hands back up. Exhale, gently release. We're gonna sit on the heels. If you wanna sit on a block instead or pillows, that's fine. Bring your hands to your belly. Take a nice deep belly breath. And when I say a belly breath, you really wanna push the belly out. This affects the lower back too, so it starts to open it up and release it. from here we'll take a gentle twist inhale sit up nice and tall exhale gently twist to your right left hand comes to the opposite thigh other hand to the mat behind you or to your lower back whatever works for you inhale come through center exhale twist to your left and on your inhale come back through center exhale where you need Go ahead and release your mat out. Take the props out from underneath. Tuck your toes, bring your inner thighs together and shift your weight back so that your sit bones are on your heels. From here, start to gently sit up. We'll find a squat balance. So if you need to, you can keep the fingers down on the mat. Otherwise, try to bring the hands up to the thighs. Roll the shoulders back, keep the belly active. Nice steady breath. If you're still good there, bring your hands to your heart. We're gonna press up to a standing position. Take a nice full inhale. And exhale, press through those legs and come up to standing. Yay, hope you made it. From there, release the hands and we'll walk up to the top of the mat. Okay, so now that we're here in Tadasana, bring the hands to the heart. Feel your feet nice and steady and secure underneath you, toes spread. Weight right in the center of the foot. Nice energy through the hands. We'll take three gentle breaths, coordinating our breath with the arm movement. On your inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, palms together, bring the hands toward the heart, belly scoops up and in. Taking that again, inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, hands to the heart. One last time, inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, hands to the heart. 
From here, inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, interlace your fingers except for the pointer finger, and then exhale where you need. Squeeze your arms against your ears. Pull the belly in. Be careful here that you're not sticking the booty and the ribs out. We'll save the TNA for later. So belly pulls up and the ribs come in. I don't know when you're saving it for. Maybe you're going clubbing tonight. You never know. Inhale, sitting up nice and tall through the spine. And then exhale, lean over to your left. I'll be your mirror image for a nice standing half moon. Inhale, coming through center. Exhale, lean over to the other side. Inhale, coming through center. Exhaling over to the left. Inhaling through center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, come back up through center. Exhale, release the hands down. You can let the shoulders roll out a little bit here. Give a little shake. And we'll come into crescent pose from here. So your right foot will stay exactly as is. Step back with the left. Nice wide stance. Front leg is roughly at 90 degrees. You want the knee to try to hover over the ankle or the middle of the foot. Hips are squaring off to the front. And the back leg is bent. I'm on the ball of my foot. I'm pressing down through my legs. On your inhale, sweep the arms up by your ears for a full crescent. Exhale, settle into the hips. Inhale, lift the ribs up out of your waist. And then exhale, twist to your right, opening the arms to shoulder height. Inhale, come back to neutral to your crescent pose, arms by the ears. Exhale, twist to the right, opening the arms, lowering them to shoulder height. One more time, inhaling, coming through center, crescent pose. Exhaling and twisting. I will stay here in the twist for a breath. Let your head turn to the left here so you're looking at your front palm. Rotate it. We're gonna take somewhat of a reverse warrior, if you will. So take an inhale here. Then as you exhale, take that left hand, reach it up and back. Your right hand can come to your lower back, to your hamstring, whatever you need. This again gives you a nice stretch through the front of the body. Chin can stay to the armpit. Eyeballs can roll upward. Then inhale, come all the way up. Exhale where you need, bring the arms back up by the ears. Exhale, hands to your heart. We're gonna step forward to the top of the mat for a balance. So really push off this back leg, stepping up. Refind your balance. Bend up that left leg, grab the outer foot, squeeze the inner thighs together. We'll kind of come into Lord of the Dance. So your right arm extends out in front, palm up, palm down, doesn't matter. For those of you that like mudras, feel free to take a mudra. Eyes focused over those fingertips. Now, if this is good for you, you can stay exactly as is. If you want to go deeper, press the foot into the hand and start to move into a back bend. Keep the heart lifted. Keep the shoulders and the hips square to the front. Eyes over the fingers, as I said, and start to press the foot into the hand. As you move forward, you're hinging at the hip. You're not dropping the upper body keeping it nice and lifted. On your next inhale, come back through neutral. Exhale where you need. We're gonna stay with the balance coming into tree pose. Bring the left thigh forward, outwardly rotate it and find your connection for tree. Either the ankle, the calf, or above the knee. You can help it up there, right? And here, if your lower back is feeling this, just let yourself settle for a few breaths. Hands can come to the heart. Really press this top heel into your inner thigh. This takes the activity out of the hip. Find a calmness here. Keep your eyes open if the balance is challenging. If you want more of a challenge, feel free to close the eyes. If you'd like to extend the arms overhead and you haven't done so already, feel free. If you want to do anything else with the arms, go for it. If the arms are extended, gently bring them back to your heart. Press the palms together. Start to lift the left foot off your inner thigh. Let the leg hover a little bit. Bend your standing leg and reach the left toes back. Let's find warrior two. Right, right knee is still nice and solid over the ankle. Arms extend out, head rotates to the right. 
You're going to take a few dynamic flows here, turning both palms up on your inhale, lift the arms and straighten the front leg. Exhale, turn the palms down, re-bend the front knee, find your warrior two again. Inhale, floating up. Exhale, re-bending. Inhale, floating up. Exhale, find your warrior two, settle in, and let's take a few breaths here. One more breath. Now with all the grace you can muster up, we're going to step forward with that back foot to find Tadasana again. Take a nice inhale, exhale, whoop, pressing it forward and finding Tadasana. Take a nice inhale here, arms up overhead, exhale, hands to the heart. And one more time, just because it's nice. Inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, hands come to the heart. Good, so we'll move to the second side. Stepping back now with the right foot, finding your crescent. Inhaling, lifting the arms up by the ears. Now remember in crescent, the back heel is up. Both legs are parallel and hips are square to the front. Settle into those legs. Remember that front knee. <clears throat> Inhale, lift the ribs out of the waist. Exhale, twist and open the arms to the left. Well, you're twisting to the left, arms are to shoulder height. Inhale, come back to crescent, squaring off the shoulders. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhaling, coming back through center. Exhale, twist to the left, stay in the twist for a breath. Then rotate your head to the right. Inhale, flip the right palm up. Exhale, reach up and back, coming into somewhat of a reverse warrior, reverse crescent. I don't even know what to call this, but it's a nice front opening of the body. On your inhale, come back up through neutral. Both arms can come up by the ears. Exhale, your hands to the heart. Nice big step up with this back foot. Finding your balance on the left foot, we'll move into Lord of the Dance. Bend up the left foot, reach down, grab onto it, Woo. balance, haha, -ha. okay, so bringing the inner thighs together so the knees are side by side, heel comes to the sit bone, pull the belly up here, roll the shoulders back, front ribs are nice and engaged, pulling together, left arm can extend out in front, stay here or press the foot into the hand, start to move the heel away from you, lifting the heart, start to hinge, Remember that one side is always going to be different than the other. We'll keep that in stride as you move through. Great, now let's move into our tree pose. So gently coming through neutral. Let go of the foot, thigh comes in front, outwardly rotate. Find your connection on this side, ankle, calf, or inner thigh. Dogs found something. Don't know what it is. All right, so we're in tree pose. Hands can come to the heart. Press the top foot into your inner thigh nice and strong. Nice steady breath. Feel free to extend the arms overhead at any point. Ah, there's people here. And from here, bring your hands back down to your heart if they were extended. Lift the foot off your inner thigh. Bend the standing knee, let's find warrior two. So letting that right foot plant behind you, wiggle down if you need to. Nice alignment here. I'll let the arms extend. We'll go through our dy dynamic flow from here. So inhale, flip the palms. Lift the arms, straighten the front leg. Exhale, settle back into warrior two. Inhale, floating up. Exhale, rebend. Inhale, floating up. Exhale, rebend, warrior two, staying here for a few breaths. From here, we'll take a nice big step to the top of the mat. Take your inhale, and then exhale, whoop, all the way to the top. 
Okay, so from here, if your feet were slightly separated, bring them back together so that the inner thighs and the inner feet are touching. Hands can come to the heart. We're gonna sit back into that squat balance. So take your nice inhale. As you exhale, engage the belly and start to squat. Let the heels come up. Feel those quads. If you plop, you plop, it's all good. From here, the arms extend out in front. Let the hips come back and gently sit. From here, we're gonna transition right into boat pose. So tucking the tail, either the toes can touch and the hands can touch, the feet can lift up to a 90 degree angle, hands can stay touched or extended, or if you know full boat pose and you wanna go for it, we're gonna stay for five breaths. That's one. That's two. Three. four, five. Gently release the feet down to the mat. You can scooch back a little bit if you need to and we'll extend the legs out in front. You can give them a little shake, a little rock, a little pop. Now, we're going to move into a variation of Paschimottanasana and we're not going to fold forward, right? Because we want the head to stay above. So you can use a strap here if you know that you have tightness along the legs or in the lower back. So we're gonna let the strap come around the feet and sit up nice and tall. Also, I always forget to mention this, but I'm gonna mention it now. If your pelvis is tucked under and you feel like you're collapsed in the upper body, roll up the back of your mat, sit on it, or take a block or a pillow and place it underneath your sit bones. When you lift the hips up, it allows your pelvis to sit upright so that you can get the stretch and your alignment will be top notch. So do what you need to for that. And let the legs extend out in front. There is about a fist width of space between the feet, but the legs come straight out of the hips. One hand on either side of the strap. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. As you exhale, you can start to walk or wrap your hands down the strap, or if you can reach your feet, you can reach your feet. But we're looking for the nice long line through the spine here. It targets the hamstrings a little bit more than the lower back, and that's what we're going for. So nice stretch through those backs of legs. Nice stretch through the backs of your legs. There it is. <sighs> okay, so now we're going to get a little fancy. Moving into a lift with a twist. Use your strap if you need to, wrap it around the right foot. If you don't need the strap, then use your hand on the ball of the foot. Sit up nice and tall and bend the knee here if you need to to bring it up and extend the leg out in front. Use just your left hand to hold the strap or your foot. Sit up tall against it and it's a-okay if the knee is bent. As long as you're feeling something in the hamstring, you're good. Inhale the other arm up. Exhale, twist and open to the right. Now this back hand can stay extended if you feel like you're gonna fall, bring the fingertips to the mat. Stay lifted in the belly. Steady breath. Good. Inhale, come back through neutral. Exhale, help your leg down. You can bend it to bring it down. And give it a little bit of a shake. Moving on to the second side. Let's start by lifting it with the strap or with your hand, lifting it straight up, keeping your torso up. Make sure you're not collapsing in the torso. Bring both ends of the strap or your foot into the right hand, sit up tall against it. Bending the knee is okay. Inhale the left arm up, exhale, twist and open to the left. Back hand can stay in the air or you can bring the fingertips to the mat. Nice steady breath. Keep the belly lifted. It helps the twist and supports your lower back. <sighs> Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, gently release the leg down. You can move the strap out of your way. Give it a good shake, a little rock, a little pop. Half Lord of the Fish. I'm gonna to turn to face you on this one and I will again be your mirror image. Half Lord of the Fish is a hip opener, but also a twist. Uh, so we're going to twist to your right first. So take your left foot underneath, heel comes across. Then the right foot 
steps across. Now, if your hips don't like this, there are solutions. You can sit on a pillow or a block. You can even extend the bottom leg out in front, whatever you need to do to make this work for you. Okay. So from here, I'll take myself off here. Inhale your left arm up, the right arm comes behind you to help support a straight spine, and then exhale, twist to your right. Hug the knee in toward your chest. You get a nice stretch through the glute and the IT band here as well. Allow your head to go along with the twist as long as it's comfortable. Good. On your inhale, come back through center. Exhale, release the twist. We're going to keep the legs kind of in this organization. But instead of half Lord of the Fish, try to stack the knees one on top of one another. Again, if you have tight hips, this is probably going to be a little challenging. You can take a block or a pillow and slide it in between the legs, and this will give you a little bit of support, and it won't be as intense. Oh, okay. So once you're all organized in there, take your right hand and bring it to the thigh bone. You don't want it on the knee. You want it on the thigh. Bring it on the meat. Sit up nice and tall. Your other hand is going to come out to the side for support, and then exhale, side bend. The elbow softens here so that you're not jamming your shoulder to your ear. Sitting up nice and tall in the chest. This opens up the lower back, the side, the waistline. If you want a little more intensity, feel free to extend the arm up overhead. With an inhale, come up through center. Exhale, gently release. Use your hands to untangle the legs. Hands come behind you for support. Gently windshield wiper the legs from side to side. This gives you another added twist that releases those hips out. Good. Coming back through center, taking all of that on the other side. So now the right foot comes underneath, heel to the opposite hip. Left foot crosses, foot flat or as flat as you can make it. Prop where you need to. Sit up nice and tall. Left hand behind, inhale the right arm up. Exhale, twist to your left, hug the knee into your chest. And enjoy the twist and the glute stretch. And on your inhale, bring the eyes to the front. Exhale, gently release your twist. Stacking the knees now for cow face, or doing the best you can to get the legs where they want to be. Bring your right hand to your side. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Left hand to the thigh, right on the meat. And then as you exhale, side bend. Keeping the supporting elbow down, keeping the shoulder away from the ear. Feel free to extend the left arm overhead if you'd like. Gives a little bit more intensity to the side stretch. On your inhale, come all the way up through center. Exhale where you need. Use your hands, untangle those legs. Hands come behind, windshield wiper from side to side. Great. Coming back through center, we're going to do one more set of back bends on the belly. So bring your legs behind you however it makes sense to you. And gently lower your way onto the belly. So locust pose. Extend your arms down by your sides, palms onto the mat. You can keep the head lifted here. The feet are underneath the hips or a little bit wider if you need for the lower back. Press down through the hands. On your inhale, lift up everything you can. Shoulder blades pull together. Keep the neck long. Avoid sticking the chin out. Keep it nice and long. Toes are reaching up and back. You can even wiggle them a little bit. And the hardest thing here is to breathe. So make sure that you keep that breath flowing through. Good. On your exhale, gently lower down. You can bring your hands underneath your chin so that the neck can rest a little bit. Then we'll go through another round. Arms extend by your sides. This time, palms of the hands towards the thumbs. On your inhale, lifting up. Little superhero action. Squeezing the shoulder blades, 
using the hamstrings, the glutes, the back muscles, and the breath. Good. On your exhale, bring the hands forward, rest your chin on your hands. You can give a little rock of the hips from side to side here if it's a little bit too tight. And last round. So you can either repeat what we've just done going into locust, or I'll show now bow pose. And we've been building up to this with Lord of the Dance and our quad stretches and all the back bends. So bending both legs up, reaching for the feet. Once you're all set, on your inhale, press the feet into the hands. Lift yourself up, thighs lift up. Use those glutes and hamstrings, shoulder blades pull together. This stretches the chest. Keep the neck long. Uh, gently release. Bring the hands underneath your chin. Go ahead and bend your legs at the knees. Windshield wiper the legs from side to side. Such a great release for the lower back, the thighs. Windshield wipering is the bomb. Bring the legs back through center. Extend them underneath you, tuck the toes. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. We're going to reverse push up or reverse tabletop, whatever works for you. So take your inhale to start. As you exhale, engage the belly, pull it off the mat first. Then press yourself up, find plank. We're gonna stay here for a few breaths. Planking, although I know some of us really don't like it, but the core work helps to release the back. It's a counterbalance for all those back bends. One more solid breath. Gently release the knees. Crawl yourself forward, sit on one hip or the other. Allow the legs to extend out in front and make your way into your Shavasana. So using the blocks underneath you, you can set your blocks up like so. That way you're on an upward diagonal as you rest back. If you have pillows or a bolster and you wanna organize it that way to be a little bit higher, whatever you need is honestly is good. Gently rest back. The bottom block goes along the ribs. The top block supports the head. Arms can rest by your side at whatever angle you'd like. Legs can organize how you wish. Uh, true Shavasana has the legs long. If this is too much on your lower back, you can keep the feet wide and let the knees fall together. We'll stay here for a few minutes, just allowing the body to rest and rejuvenate. Do your best to stay still. I'll let you know when it's time to get up.
start to deepen your breath. Find energy in your fingers, toes, wrists, and ankles. Extend the arms up by your ears and give yourself a nice long stretch. Roll on to your right side, resting here in fetal position. Gently press yourself up to a seated position, eyes closed and hands pressed at your heart. Take a few moments of gratitude, whatever that might be for you today. But always be grateful for each breath that we take. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me. If you like the class, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And be sure to click the bell for email notifications when new videos are released. Let me know how you felt after doing this practice in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Also, if you have a request for a specific focus or tutorial, please ask in the comments below. Please share this video if you know someone who might enjoy it. Be well and remember to breathe. See you next time.